All right, so the US Open draw has just come out and there are some crazy first round matches, but there are also some big names that are not playing on the women's side. Let's go have a look at the withdrawal list. So we have a couple of players not playing on the WTA side. Shelby Rogers, she's pulled out. Krunich, Zong, McNally, and Simona Halep have all pulled out of the US Open. Of course, Simona Halep still waiting on her trial whether or not she'll be able to play tennis in the near future. Okay, 32 seeds in this one for a Grand Slam. No one gets a bye in the first round. And Sviantec, the world number one, the number one seed, the defending champion, Jason Pedersen in the first round. She'll take on the winner of Ngonu versus Saville. So Shvonsa's like done a nice little start there. Davis takes on Kovinich. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or the 29th seed, Chucky Reddo. Then you've got Ostapenko, the 20th seed, taking on Paolini. That's an interesting first round. Paolini's been in a little bit of uh, form lately. Winner of that will take on either Cornet or Avanesian. Then you've got Grabber taking on Wong. Winner of that takes on either Pera or the number 16 seed, Kudamatova. So Sviantec's biggest threat is Ostapenko, I think. And maybe Cornet, you know, Cornet has beaten her, you know, at Wimbledon last year. But I think the biggest threat is Ostapenko, and that's a fourth round potentially. So I think Sviantec's got to like her chances of making it at least the fourth round. Next section of the draw, you got Kvitova. Number 11 seed takes on Buxa. Winner of that would take on either a qualifier or Wozniacki in the second round. Wozniacki Kvitova, that's a flashback match. Could be a second round match. Then you got a qualifier taking on Brady. Winner of that would take on either Sasnovich or Lynette, the 24th seed in the second round. Then you've got the 32nd seed, Mertens, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Fruvitova or Collins in the second round. That's a fun first round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Andreva. Winner of that will take on either another qualifier or the number six seed, Goff. But could be an interesting section. You know, Kvitova, Wozniacki, Lynette made the semifinals of the Australian Open. Of course, Goff's in form, probably the most informed player coming into this uh, tournament uh, on the women's side. And of course, this section of the draw will take on the Sviantec section. So we could be getting... Shviontek take on Goff, which is what we got last week in Cincinnati, and it was a massive upset, or at least it was an upset in that match. Could be fun again to get the rematch. Uh, if you want to go a little different, you could go Shviontek versus Kvitova, who's been at good and on hard courts this year. If you want to go a little bit different again, you could go Goff versus Ostapenko, potentially. If you want to go a little more random from uh, the Shviontek section. Next section of the draw, you got the number four seed, Rabakina, taking on Kostyuk. Winner of that will take on either Udvadi or Tomanovic in the second round. Then you've got Kalen Sky taking on Siniakova. Winner of that will take on either Day or the 30th seed, Kastea. Then you've got the 18th seed, Azarenka, taking on Ferro. Winner of that will take on either Zhu or Sharif in the second round. Then you've got a qualifier taking on Batova. Winner of that will take on either Rakamova or the number 15 seed, Bencic, in the second round. So, look, Rabakin has got a tough first round. Kostruk's been good at times this year. Tomanovic is back from injury. Took out Serena, of course last year at the US Open, and Kastea has been some big names, Azarenka we know, Bencic we know, also difficult, so again, tricky draw for Rabakina. Getting to the next section now, you've got the number 10 seed, Mukova taking on Hunter, winner of that will take on either Fre or Navarro in the second round, then you've got Gracheva taking on Townsend, winner of that will take on either Stevens, or the number 19 seed, Adaj Meyer. fun first round there, with Sloane Stevens taking on Adaj Meyer. then you've got Kalanina, the 28th seed, taking on Tormo, winner of that will take on either a qualifier, or Wong in the second round, then you got Schmidlova taking on Bandel. Winner of that will take on either Masarova or the number eight seed Sakari in the second round. Interesting section. Mukova, Hadajmaya, Sakari, Stevens, Townsend. She's had some good matches in America, you know, at the US Open before. They're probably the names you'll be looking at. But again, this is kind of a really open section, this one. And of course, this section will take on the Rabakina section. So we could be getting Rabakina taking on Sakari. We could be getting Rabakina take on Mukova in the quarterfinals. Or if you want to go something a little bit different, you can go with Bencic taking on either Sakari or Benji taking on Mukova. Or if you want to go something really random, you could go Azarenka taking on a Daj Meyer. If you want to go really out there. And of course, this section takes on the Sviantec section in the semis. So it could be Rabakina Sviantec. It could be Rabakina Goff. If you want to go a little different, or it could be Sviantec versus Mukova or Sviantec versus Sakari. If you want to go with just those big names. And like I said, it could be a bunch of random names in that Rabakina section. All right, bottom half of the draw now, we've got. Number seven seed, Garcia, taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Bolter or Parry in the second round. Then you got Stearns taking on Tomova. Winner of that will take on either Towson or the number 27 seed, Potapova. Then you got the 22nd seed, Alexandrova, taking on Fernandez. Winner of that will take on either Andrescu or Sharenko in the second round. Then you got Trevison taking on Putin Seva. Winner of that will take on either a qualifier or the number nine seed, Von Drusova, in the second round. This section is wide open. I mean, Garcia's been in bad form this year. Von Drusova just did well last week. Number nine seed, could she make it that far? Or someone like Andrescu or Fernandez, who have obviously played well here before, 
are they going to do something here? So it's a this this section seems very open for me. Next part of the draw, you've got the number 14 seed, Samson Over, taking on Lou. Winner of that will take on either Bagu or Corpatch in the second round. Then you've got two qualifiers going at it. Winner of that battle will go up against either Roos or the number 17 seed, Keys. Of course, former finalists here. Then you've got the 26 seed, Svetlina taking on Friedson. Winner of that will take on either Pavlyuchenkova or Qualifier. Then you've got Teague taking on Marino. Winner of that will take on either Georgie or the number three seed, Pagula. Crazy first round there between Pagula and Georgie. I mean, that is insane. But Pagula, if she can get through that match, it might actually be pretty good for her. Maybe a quarterfinal on the cards. And of course, this section will take on the Garcia section. So we could be getting Pagula versus Garcia. We could be getting Pagula versus Von Drusova. We could be getting Pagula versus Andrescu, if you want to go a little bit out there and, and go with some players that have played well here before. Or if you want to go the other way, you could go with Garcia taking on Svetolina, or Garcia taking on Samsonova, or Von Drusova taking on Svetolina, which was what we saw at Wimbledon in the semifinals a couple weeks ago. And the bottom section of the draw, you've got Jabur taking on Osorio, of course, the number five seed and defending finalist on Jabur. Winner of that will take on either Niskova or Brengel in the second round. Then you've got Maria taking on Martic. Winner of that will take on either Kruger or the number 31 seed, Buzkova. Then you've got the number 23 seed, Zhang, taking on Podoroska. Winner of that will take on either Strikova or Kanepi in the second round. Then you've got Montgomery taking on a qualifier. Winner of that will take on either Bronzetti or the number 12 seed, Krajikova. And on Jabur, if she's 100%, her foot's a little bit dodgy, but if her, she is 100% coming in, she feels a lot better. I mean, there's a quarterfinal right there for her. Buzkova's been pretty good. Maybe someone to watch out for. Of course, Zhang can do things. Krajikova. I mean, she can light on fire as well. We know what she can do. And the bottom part of the draw, you've got Kazakina, the 13th seed, taking on Parks. Winner of that would take on either a uh, winner of that would take on either Bogdan or Kennan in the second round. Then you've got Bedosa taking on Venus Williams. What a first round that is. Huge first round. Hopefully they're both healthy enough to play because, of course, they both had injury worries over the last couple of months. Uh, that the winner of that would take on either a qualifier or the 21 seed Vekic. Then you've got the 25th seed, Pliskova taking on a qualifier. Winner of that would take on either Dolhide or Burl in the second round. Then you've got Blinkova taking on Burridge. Winner of that would take on either Zanevska or the number two seed, Sabalenka. And look, Sabalenka has got to like her chances. I mean, she can beat Pliskova. She can beat both, both Vekic and Kazakina. Kennan's a wide, bit wild. I mean, if she can get to the fourth round, she maybe can do some damage. She did beat Sabalenka earlier in the year. Uh, but also Venus, not sure what they can do. I mean, physically... Are they able to hang with Sabalenka? And of course, this section will take on the Jabur section. So we've got Sabalenka Jabur could be a quarterfinal. Or if you want to go with Sabalenka Krajikova, you know, if Krajikova could have a good week. But I mean, it's very hard to not see a rematch of what we saw last week in the Cincinnati quarterfinals between Jabur and uh, Sabalenka. And we've seen them play the last couple of tournaments. We saw them play at Wimbledon as well in the semifinals. Could be a quarterfinal. Of course, this section of the draw will take on the Pagula section. So Sabalenka Pagula. It could be, uh, you know, Sabalenka Garcia, Sabalenka Von Drusova, if you want to go a little bit different, or it could be Jabur taking on Pagula, uh, Jabur Von Drusova, a rematch of the Wimbledon final could be in the semis here, or it could be, you know, Jabur versus Garcia if Garcia does catch fire like she did last year. And in fact, they played in the semifinals last year. And there it is, the ladies' draw. Let me know down in the comments below if you're watching this later. Who is going to win the US Open? Is it Sviantec again? Is it Sabalenka? I mean, Pagula? Goff, they've all played pretty well lately. I mean, I'm, Rabakin has got a tough draw. But man, I, I mean, I want to pick Sabalenka. I feel like Sabalenka's, I mean, especially with Jabur being a little injured, and I think she can beat Pagula, but then uh, I'll go with Sabalenka. I'm going to go with Sabalenka because I think that uh, her draw is the nicest. We could get a random champion this year. That could happen too.